Hi, so I'll give you a very quick overview of your ghost box. So it's yet to have the infra portal decals put on, uh, but it's got the coloured grill lights as requested, and it's also get, got the Tesla portal, uh, the Tesla disc in the middle, which is now responding to my voice. And uh, it's also responding to vibrations. When I turn the volume of a box, it'll also respond to the, the received radio waves as well so, so reverb can be added or removed using this button and then we've got scan and store so the scan and store if we press and hold that button when we look at the uh, radio unit on the back it will start to i'll just try and do that whilst i'm holding this it will circle and then you can see the reception on the left hand side. So it'll begin to uh, sweep through the FM radio band from 97.8 through to oh, 108. And along the way, it'll start to store stations. So as it stores them, it'll stay on them for about a second. So if you wish to uh, get a little bit more. Is that Jim Pickard, and... the correspondent? reception you can uh, add a little bit of wire onto the antenna this antenna can be uh, extended uh, well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna and retracted oh, well, we know we love. you can see we've got about nine channels there at the moment so as it comes up to 108 if we're indoors we'll probably get about 14 you can turn the box outside, but obviously when you take it into an indoor area or below reception, then it's likely to introduce more white noise then. So now the box will reverse sweep through the stored stations. The Tesla can be controlled by the switch on the side. The batteries can be changed by removing these two screws. And then the... Uh, Grill lights are controlled by the on and off switch. There.